these three gold balls, let me tell you about them. The universal symbol of pawnbroking is three gold balls and is one of the most recognized in the world. The Medici families in Italy, along with the Lombards in England, were money lenders in Europe. Legend has it that one of the Medicis in the employ of Emperor Charles the Great fought a giant and slew him with three sacks of rocks. The three balls, or globes, later became a part of their family crest, and ultimately the sign of pawnbroking. Pawn shops. We're open, so come on in. Cumberland Pond is where I'm doing my project on. I think I should tell you a little bit about it. Cumberland Pond has five different branches in Fayetteville, North Carolina. They started in 1963 and they've been going good ever since then. Let me tell you a little bit how Cumberland Pond and every other pawn shop works. Have you ever been to a pawn shop? For a lot of people, there seems to be something, well, shady about these places. But if you haven't been to a pawn shop, you may be missing out on some great bargains. A pawn shop is a lot like a dozen garage sales and a flea market all rolled into one. Pawn shops also play an important role in many communities by providing people with an easy, fast way to borrow small amounts of money. The number one question asked in a pawn shop is, so, how does this work? Well, here's the deal with pawn shops. First, you walk into the store, either to buy, sell, or do both. Let's say you have some gold you just don't want anymore, or broken chains and jewelry. You would bring in the gold and hand it to the man at the pawn counter. He then will almost always say, how much do you want for it? And then you will almost always say, um, I don't know. The man across the table will then ask you to hold on a minute and weigh the jewelry and test it to see if it's real. If it checks out to be real, he will offer you an amount of money. You then have the option to either take it or leave it. If it is not real, he will simply say it's not real and you will then be shocked. Although pawn shops take a lot of jewelry, they also find value in many other things such as musical instruments, televisions, audio systems, games, game systems, cameras, GPSs, and almost anything that they can find value in. But watch where you take it, because each pawn shop has their own strong points. Some places may deny what others will take. But if you have something valuable, take it to the pawn shop and get some definite cash from it. 